Hello, my name is Roman Havorka. I am the developer of the CAM APS FX hybrid closed loop algorithm. Today, we will be talking about how the CAM APS FX learns. The algorithm includes three ways of learning which it uses to help calculate the amount of insulin to deliver to manage glucose levels. The first way CAM APS FX learns is around the overall insulin requirements. This learning is about how much insulin is needed on average in a 24-hour period. The algorithm is updated once a day at around midnight. This learning is done by analyzing how much insulin was needed the previous day and how the person's glucose levels responded to that insulin. All the learning obtained from the previous days is important, but the more recent days are more important than the days in the distant past. This is called exponential forgetting. The days further back in the past are forgotten and the algorithm continues learning every day. This allows CAM APS FX to adapt quickly to changes in overall insulin needs. The second way of learning is related to what happens during the day itself over the 24 hours. The day is divided into one hour periods of time, and after each hour has passed, the system will be evaluating its learning for that day. If, in the previous period, the person has needed more or less insulin than usual, CAM APS FX will adjust its learning, delivering insulin slightly differently based on this feedback. This allows the algorithm to accommodate intraday or diurnal differences in insulin requirements. The third way of learning is related to the post-meal glucose levels. For example, when someone uses the bolus calculator to enter their carbohydrates and deliver a meal bolus, CAM APS FX will review whether the insulin amount was appropriate by monitoring what happens to glucose levels after the meal. It will then adjust its assessment of glucose appearance for the carbohydrate content of that meal. Based on this analysis, on subsequent days, if someone is constantly giving too little insulin for meals, for example when their insulin to carbohydrate ratio is too weak or they are underestimating their carbohydrates, CAM APS FX will start giving more insulin post-meal because it knows that for that meal at that time of day, the person is under bolusing and it tries to compensate for this. The same is true if someone's constantly giving too much insulin pre-meal. For example when their insulin to carbohydrate ratio is too strong or they are overestimating their carbohydrates. CAM APS FX will learn that it needs to give less or even stop delivering insulin post-meal to try prevent a low glucose level. It's important to keep in mind that even stopping insulin after the meal may not prevent hypoglycemia if the insulin on board is too high. You can review the insulin to carbohydrate ratio and carbohydrate counting across the different times of the day and for different meal sizes. By looking to see if CAM APS FX is delivering a lot of insulin or shutting off after meals. When first starting CAM APS FX, the algorithm takes about 1 to 3 weeks to learn patterns in someone's daily routine. This will depend on an individual's circumstances, some people have more of a regular routine than others. CAM APS FX has two features called Boost and Ease Off. Boost can be used at times when someone might need more insulin than usual, such as when ill in pain, stressed or after an infusion set failure. Ease off can be used when someone needs less insulin than usual, such as when they are exercising or after drinking alcohol. When someone uses boost or ease off, the learning gets a little bit more complicated, as these one-off events are not part of someone's everyday routine. It is therefore important that people use these features when they are needed, but not to overuse them. If someone is using boost or ease off regularly to try better manage their glucose levels, they should review their CAM APS FX settings with the support of their diabetes specialist team. So, in summary, the overall, the diurnal and the post-meal learning is happening all the time. The algorithm will never stop learning. Every day contributes towards and shapes CAM APS FX's insulin delivery.